Hey, it's Coley. In the wake of Anne's passing, I just want to say a few things. One, I loved her and I miss her and I'm always going to. Anne Heche's ex-husband is thanking her for all she brought into his life. Coley LaFoon shared a heartfelt Instagram message in the late actress's honor on Friday following the news that she was declared legally dead one week after a horrific car accident in Los Angeles. She was 53 years old. LaFoon reflected on Heche's memory and expressed gratitude for the condolences he and his family have received in the wake of her loss. And he addressed Anne directly with a promise to take care of their 20-year-old son, Homer. Homer is okay. He's grieving, of course. And it's, it's rough. It's really rough, as it probably anybody can imagine. But he's surrounded by family, and he's strong, and he's going to be okay. So for all those people checking in, thank you. Your check-in, showing us your heart, offering prayers and everything. It's so beautiful. Thank you. It's hard for me. It's hard for my family. It's really hard for Homer. But we got each other, and we have a lot of support, and we're going to be okay. And um, and uh, I, I think Anne is probably, I'd like to think she's free, free from pain and enjoying or experiencing whatever's next in her journey. She came in hot. And she had a lot to say. She was brave and fearless, loved really hard, and was never afraid to let us know what she think and what she believed in. And it was always love. It was all about love. So goodbye, Anne. Love you. Thank you. Thank you for all the good times. There were so many. And um, see you on the other side. And in the meantime, I got our son and he'll be fine. Love you. Haitian and LaFoon were married from 2001 to 2009. LaFoon also shared a bittersweet throwback photo of Anne and a then infant Homer, writing in his caption, It's important to remember the real love in the best times. Thank you, Anne. Peace on your journey. The Six Days, Seven Nights star was also mom to 13-year-old son Atlas with her Men in Trees castmate James Tupper. Homer spoke out on Haitia's loss in a statement to Access Hollywood on Friday and shared how he and his brother are coping, saying, quote, My brother Atlas and I lost our mom. After six days of almost unbelievable emotional swings, I am left with a deep, wordless sadness. Hopefully my mom is free from pain and beginning to explore what I like to imagine as her eternal freedom. Hayes was hospitalized on August 5th after driving her car into a home in Los Angeles' Mar Vista neighborhood, starting a fire. The actress's rep told NBC News on Friday that while Hayes is legally dead according to California law, her heart is still beating and she had not yet been taken off life support in order to donate her organs. The rep issued a statement on behalf of Haitia's family and friends, which read, We have lost a bright light, a kind and most joyful soul, a loving mother and a loyal friend. Anne will be deeply missed, but she lives on through her beautiful sons, her iconic body of work, and her passionate advocacy. Her bravery for always standing in her truth, spreading her message of love and acceptance, will continue to have a lasting impact. Following the news of Haitia's passing, the Los Angeles Police Department told People Magazine they have ended their investigation into the crash.